But yeah, we're uh, we're trying to find a clue as to when she lost uh, the shoe because that'll tell us when Doc is. If I remember correctly, you can keep on like looking out the window here, and uh, Strickland says increasingly funny observations. <laughs> really? About people out. I only did it once. You can uh, go through the newspapers here and hear a lot of uh, various references to the series. Oh yeah, you, yeah. you may the the viewer may have heard them depending on uh, how high I <laughs> make the uh, video volume in the final <laughs> recording. I can't really hear them though because I have it you know, turned on uh, kind of low. Uh -huh. well, if I remember, there's also some foreshadowing to the uh, the other chapters in there too. If you dig along, I enough. think you're right. Yeah. But yeah, you have to uh, mess around with the radiator to make her go in the other room because she thinks the tea kettle's going uh, off. And yes! for some reason, she stays in there for like two minutes. Yes. So. <laughs> you know what you're doing behind takes her a long time to figure out the water is not boiling. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal art. Yeah, you know, now, now I'm really confused about this character, because I, when I played it before, I, I was assuming she was just, like, some crazy hoarder, but she clearly isn't. Although, I guess they do explain, because uh, she used to be a writer for the newspaper, so I guess she developed an obsession with the newspaper in particular through that. I guess that makes yeah. sense. There's a, I'm not sure if Michael's going to find it here, but there's actually a link to the Tales of Monkey Island video game in this room. There is? Yeah, if you um, if you go to pick up the cat food, the cat will cry, and uh, it's revealed that her cat's name is Mrs. Pretty Whiskers, which is um, the cat the one pirate has in the, the wow. fourth episode of I've Tales. I probably even looked at that. I didn't, I didn't uh, pick up on that. That's crazy. I mean, Miss Pretty Whiskers is a great name for a cat. So maybe they're just going to use that throughout and the And it definitely seems like something she would name a cat. I believe we are learning some important plot points right now. Maybe I should turn the volume up so I can hear what she's saying. <laughs> This is when she's revealing the speakeasy. Yes, okay. And then we have to look through the newspapers to figure out exactly when the speakeasy burnt down. Yes. Is that what's going on? Well, actually, I think uh, before that, you need to look through the binoculars yes. to find Biff coming out of the video store because <laughs> the date that that was built is shown there. <laughs> That's right, he's coming out of there with, with these X rated movies. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if they say it's X rated, but like oh. he's got it in, in like, an opaque bag and he's looking very guilty. I just assumed. Yeah, so either it's X-rated or he doesn't want anyone to know he's renting Bambi. Yeah. Back when there were videotapes, <laughs> and, you, and you had to get your pornography via them. Hard to imagine such a world. It's better tone it down. We're starting to get a little too rated M for mature for the uh, game cola video crowd. Uh -huh. yeah, just put an NSF. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. What exactly is that vest thing? He's is it like I've never seen an article of clothing like that in real life. <laughs> um, that is a moon vest, and uh, astronauts use it. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought you knew what you were talking about. <laughs> no. I always wondered because like how do how do you co how do you cosplay Marty McFly exactly? I don't like it seems like it looks like it's made out of like balloons or something. I don't know how he puts his arms down. <laughs> I'm sure that was very popular in the '80s, but I, I don't remember the '80s too well. I was, no, me like, neither. Yeah, if anyone uh, watching this video is from the '80s, uh, please explain Marty's wardrobe. <laughs> You know, far be it for me to criticize Michael, but I do not remember spending this much time in this room. I do, but that's, like I said, I've, I've got some sort of problem where I have to right. investigate you everything. You I think I'm probably just remembering my second playthrough, too, where I sort of knew what I was doing most of the time and, and skipped a lot of stuff. Yeah. 
Well, unlike other writers on the game call staff, I actually think these games are kind of funny. So I, <laughs> oh, I agree. The, the, if the main point is for me to like enjoy them because they're humorous, I want to make sure I get all the jokes. So I, I'm sort of obsessive compulsive about clicking on everything. Absolutely. Yeah, and I, th I think I'm, I definitely would have done that on my first playthrough. I think I'm just remembering the second one where I was mostly just trying to get like a story recap. Uh -huh. <laughs> which I suppose I could have just read online, but I wanted to get more trophies. Yeah. If it comes with trophies. Yeah, I, I believe I, I got 100% in this episode, too. Oh. Yeah. Not too many games where I have all the trophies. See, the sad thing is, I got these for free, but I'm almost certainly going to buy it when it comes out on a disc for my, on the PS3. Oh, <laughs> uh, it actually is coming out on a disc. Oh, it's coming out on a disc for a PC soon, too, I believe. Well, I, well if, if the PS3 has trophies. Oh, yeah, then... just... Oh, absolutely. If it's a choice between the two versions, get the PlayStation 3 version. <laughs> Plus, the controls are probably less annoying. Oh, yeah. My newspapers are in... Yeah, I believe Telltale, like, they signed some big agreement to a publish. Like, they they have a greater publishing rights on uh, consoles now or some, something like that. I so I think I we're going to be seeing more games. They might even, like, start porting older ones onto uh, onto the discs, which would be kind of cool. Be fine. I was always sort of curious why it was never... I, like, I'm an old guy, so I like my video <laughs> games to be in, like, a physical form. Mother Makes sense. Take little Gerald out of her clothes. <laughs> I don't know. More and more, I'm finding myself really appreciating downloadable games, but I think Marshall that has Strickland. more to do with the, the price than anything else. <laughs> I like getting new games for ten dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's true. In case you guys couldn't hear what was going on, we just find out that the uh, the vice principal was a cross dresser as a kid. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> like it seems to me, Marty would want to steal that picture. I believe it will uh, come up later in the game, not in this one. I am showing that to everyone. <laughs> Yay! Puzzle solved. Doodle -doo. I don't know Doodle -doo. how he finds it so quickly, though. It doesn't I was seem like wondering that, too. Organized by date or anything. But... I would also, I'm, uh, this is nitpicky, but it does not look like there's like 60 years worth of newspapers there. Or however many years it's supposed to be. Well, her bedroom is just okay. Okay. I can I can accept that. <gasps> Carl Sagan. Killed by a mob is not the way I want to go. <laughs> no, that's a that's a pretty awesome death. <laughs> oh, see, I really go, bad for her here. I know he ruined everything. Yeah, kind of a jerk thing to do. I mean, it wasn't intentional, but. <laughs> <laughs> How clumsy was he that he knocked over these super heavy boxes? Yeah, of music, though. and so many of them too. Uh huh. Feel bad every time I see that part. <laughs> 